Truth is, I'm scared cause when I see you coming All I wanna do is tell you that I love you I know you're better off without me cause your tears stay I make it dark out when you're around me Like a needle lost in the sand The ink dried in my hand It's unthinkable Like a bird that never learned to fly I shouldn't ask you to try it's unthinkable, but loving you was easy, see, when it was just you and me, since you wanna leave it, then I'll pick up the pieces, yeah, you said out of second chances and i know that i'm not perfect and this probably sounds really selfish but i hate that i'm not with you i just wish that i could tell you that my this time is the truth i lost the trust i understand but do i have to be that man it's unthinkable but Hey Tugboats, it's Shifty and welcome back to the channel for another episode of my sim series, Naomi. Before we get started today, I do have a disclaimer. I am currently sick at the moment. I thought I would be better by now, which I am slightly better, but like I'm still a little nasally and also my voice might go in and out from time to time, but I am feeling well enough to record. So I'm super excited to jump into today's episode. As you guys can see, we are here for Corey and his fiance Bree's wedding rehearsal and we didn't know if Angela was going to make it here on time, and I'll get to explaining that here shortly. But as you all can see, this looks very familiar. It's very reminiscent on me as to when Angelo and Naomi attended her brother's wedding when they were both in their early 20s. And this is just so crazy to see them both sitting here together again. Before we actually hop into what happened here, I have to introduce you guys to some of the Sims that are here. You guys should know this side of the room, but in case you don't, and this is the first video you're seeing, this is the main Sim. Naomi. We then have her fiance Angelo, her ex-husband Wade, and over here we have her oldest son Corey and his fiance Brianne. And then over here we have Bree's parents. This is her father Marcus and then this is her mother Sheila. I would also like to mention that I did not intentionally have Brie and Corey match. I was just picking them out an outfit and then <laughs> when I got to the end of it, I was like, oh my goodness, I think they're matching. <laughs> it was like one of those moments where you show up with your significant other and you're like, oh, we didn't plan this. <laughs> but she is also wearing her shoes that she's going to be wearing for the wedding tomorrow. Naomi was telling her, you know, I, I recommend you break those in because it's going to be hard breaking them in day of. And so these are the only shoes that Bree's been wearing all week inside and she she's really thanking Naomi for this because these shoes are extremely uncomfortable but I'm just gonna have everyone kind of just get started into the wedding rehearsal portion so we were just about to have Corey and his fiance walk up the aisle this is after all the vows are being said and after they're being presented as a couple and so we're gonna have them grab each other and oh my goodness this is so cute and for those of you who really want to know where I got this wedding venue I found it on YouTube so I will be having all the links down below for you guys but this place is absolutely stunning it has this beautiful archway here and I don't know if you guys would probably be able to see unless I came in here but this is what it looks like do y'all see how grand how grand this is and we have the big windows on the side and the candles kind of lined up and then it mimics the same style on this side it truly is just such a romantic place I will definitely be linking it in the description for you guys next to come up the aisle would be Brianne's mom and dad and so we're gonna send up Miss Sheila and her husband Marcus they are so cute they've been married for such a long time now and they are truly truly the best example that I could give of love you know he has 
always been her support system and she's always been his. And even though he works two jobs and he's always busy, the two of them are still so madly and deeply in love and they're always there for one another. So, oh my gosh, she's like, our baby's getting married. <laughs> she's like, honey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But they look so good. The next person that I want to send up the aisle would probably be Wade. So we're going to go ahead and have him have his moment. Now, hopefully he is coming with a date. If not, you know, it's okay. He can walk down the aisle by himself. Look at him. He's, you better get yourself together. He's, great. He's like, hey, how was that? And they're like, oh, it's good. Thanks, dad. And of course, next we have the two lovebirds. The next couple who's going to be getting married shortly after this is Naomi and Angelo. And I truly cannot believe that they are here at this point because they were broken up for a little while there and I didn't know if they were actually going to get together or if it could flow just so naturally like it did. Oh, Julia, this is like the worst possible time for you to call. We'll call her back later. But yeah, this is almost like a foreshadowing moment. We get to see what it's going to look like with these two when they do walk down the aisle. And I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. I love this couple. I am just really pumped to plan their wedding. I just recently got their wedding venue saved and I still have to look for Naomi's dress because I'm not sure what I want her to wear. And it's just, I feel like I'm planning my own wedding at this point. But we're just going to pop the camera down here so we can see. Look at how cute cute they are oh my goodness they're so <laughs> all the men are crying today i love it <laughs> but that was kind of it we would like to pretend you know that they did that a few times before being done for the the rehearsal but naomi actually ended up baking a cake for everyone here so we are going to eat that today but i do want to show you guys really quickly because i want your input on this i truly truly do now because this isn't you know real life we can use cheats and things like that so out here we do have this outside portion of the venue now i am really torn between having Corey and his fiance have their um what is it called the oh my gosh the thing that happens after the wedding <laughs> i can't remember i'll pop it on the screen right here but I was thinking about having that event either here or inside at this section here. I am super, super torn. Hopefully you guys saw the dress in the last episode. So if you want to kind of help me narrow down what you all think and just help me pick which one we should be in. They both offer different things like this one here. They have the big newlywed table here. There is a podium where someone can give a speech. And then we don't have a dance floor in here. That's the only thing that's missing from this section. But out here, we do have a dance floor. The only thing that's missing from this side is is just the fact that we don't have the new newlywed table we do have a bench however though but something is telling me that you guys are probably all going to vote on this I don't know I might be wrong I might be wrong but just let me know down in the comments what you all think should we have it outside or should we have it inside and before they jump right into this cake and I can't show you all this is the cake that Naomi prepped now some of you might be looking at this and saying where did you get this cake I've never seen this cake before what is it so this is the angel strawberry cake I want to say is what it's called let's see angel strawberry cake and this is actually from a cooking mod granny's cookbook which i plan on doing a video on very very soon but granny's cookbook is one of my favorite food mods that we have out there as well as many others but it's just the stuff in here is so cute and i, I love how it's all in pretty much one download so yeah this is what naomi had prepped today and again i will be doing a tutorial on it very soon soon but if you guys want this right now you can go ahead and click the description and get the link for it but I just wanted to show you all how cute this cake was before everybody tore into it but I don't know if Naomi is going to be making the cake for the wedding Naomi actually used to love to bake when she lived on her own back in gosh what is that place called a bright chester and her parents always came over for dinner and it was just a regular thing and so yeah naomi has always loved cooking on the side she she just has a passion for baking and everything which kind of explains why her son actually went into the culinary career i could see him and his mom probably standing in the kitchen baking cooking together and things like that so it's kind of crazy how it all just turned around like that i love how he is always near his woman too like 
so cute. <laughs> I do think though if we have the wedding in here, I might have to fix the lighting because it is a little yellow in here and I like my lighting to be a little bit more natural. So if please don't submit your vote just based on that. I can adjust the lighting so that way it's not so intense. But I do think that, you know, while everyone's chit-chatting, I think that Wade and Angelo are going to have a moment off to the side here. I just want to kind of round him up. So I'm going to use the actions and control any sim feature from this mod that I have. And I'm just going to have the two of them come over here into this room right here. So we'll see Wade on this side and then I'll have Angelo sit on this side here. Angelo just wants to talk to him, you know, have a moment together and just share his his thoughts and I'm sure some of you all are like mm, is he is he about to come after him like what is happening no Angelo just wants to merely thank Wade for being there for Naomi as a friend and you know possibly stepping in for him when he didn't know if he'd be able to make it and so he just wants to have a heart to heart with him you know just chit chat nothing crazy he's not gonna jump down his throat or anything like that I don't know if Wade was really upset about the fact that he couldn't walk Naomi down the aisle because of you know and Angelo showing up I think that it might actually be a factor to the fact that he's being reminded of his marriage with her and he almost in a sense feels a ton of guilt for everything that he put her through but Angelo's just letting him know he says hey man thank you so much for stepping in I'm so sorry I had to go to Mount Coma Rebbe for work and Wade's like, oh no, it's no problem. You know, I got you always, whatever you need. You guys help me out so much, especially like, you know, with the resources for therapy and everything like that. I just, I'm so thankful to you guys and I, I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, who is stinking? Who stinks, honey? He was just like fan of his nose. I was about to say, I know it's not Wade. Wade is 100% like this man probably bathes. I wouldn't say bathes in his cologne, but he wears really nice expensive cologne always has his clothes dry cleaned and he just he takes very much like much pride into his personal hygiene so I couldn't imagine him stinking <laughs> he probably smells better than Angelo sometimes but yeah he's just um he's just letting him know I appreciate it I didn't mean to be on my flight it got backed up and I really I really didn't think I was gonna make it likes deception no she doesn't <laughs> and he's like oh yeah just just glad you could make it you know um it is getting rather late too, so it's good that you made it here in time. I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're really tired. Oh, couldn't y'all wait until the wedding? <laughs> wait, wait, no. So the good thing is that they're upstairs, so we don't have to worry about seeing them. But I don't know why they keep fanning their noses as if something stinks in here, because there's nothing really in here at the moment. But yeah, I'm just I'm glad that they could have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now Angelo is just kind of asking him if he has a date to come to the wedding rehearsal, and Wade was telling him, "Oh yeah, I thought I did. You know, I took her out to dinner, but things just really weren't that great, and you know, maybe maybe." Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> and Angela laughs and he's like, dude, you're, you're great. Um, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta find the one. And in Wade's head, I feel like at this moment, he's thinking to himself, like, I thought I did have the one and, you know, things just did not go well between me and her. And so I, I don't think he would say that out loud, but he definitely has it in the back of his head. And Angela tells him, Hey, you know, I got a few friends that are single. I could definitely suggest someone if you're interested, you know, I don't mind, especially if you just need a date for the wedding. It doesn't have to end up anything serious, but if you just want someone to come with you, I definitely have some friends and you don't have to do dinner or anything like that. And Wade's listening. He's like, Oh, you know, thank you. Uh, sure if if you know anyone that would like to come with me I'll, I'll definitely take you up on that i i wouldn't mind it's it's always fun getting to know people you can pass them my cell number and we can communicate that way so this is really cool seeing these two kind of develop this this friendship here and talk amongst each other i'm sorry that they keep saying something smells i have no idea what it is because as you guys can see look there's nothing in this room i don't know what they're smelling unless they're smelling the the, the hanky panky that's going on upstairs I don't know <laughs> but it's not the tea set it really isn't so <laughs> I have no idea what's going on 
So Naomi just finished packing up Alicia's leftovers for this cake and Angelo just said goodbye to Wade and so he's gonna come in here and check on Naomi and just ask her, hey, you ready to go? You know, sorry, I, we just got so caught up in talking and everything like that. And I do think that we are gonna have a intimate kiss moment as well with Naomi because he's missed her, guys. He's been away for almost a week at this point and so he really just missed his girl. He's like, hey, I was thinking about you the entire time I was gone she's like I was thinking about you too <laughs> and the two of them are just sharing this moment together and ignore the the, the kissing height thing so <laughs> but they are just so happy to have each other again and for him to be back home I think that Naomi was having some kind of issue earlier but I think it went away she was having like some woohoo tension I think is what it said I can't remember but she really just missed Angelo in that sense and as you guys can see she is feeling a little flirty after that intimate swing and I think that she might actually even go ahead and whisper some sweet nothings into his ear or be enticing yeah be enticing Naomi she's like you just wait you just wait till we get home she's like I have been waiting for you all week and he's like you wait till we get home <laughs> he's like actually let me go ahead and call the uber really quickly he's like we need to we need to go home <laughs> So when Naomi and Angelo got home, as you guys could see, they took a shower together. Naomi helped Angelo kind of clean up his face a little bit. And then the two of them came back to the bedroom and did a little bit of cuddling. And so now they're sitting here watching a movie, but as you guys could see, both of them checked their phones and they both received a text from the same person. Naomi received a text from Wade and it was saying, tell Angelo, thank you so much for, you know, setting me up with this girl. We're supposed to go out on a date tomorrow. And Naomi was like, why don't you text him yourself? She's like, he's the one who set it up. She's like, I have no idea what you guys are doing or what is going on. And so after that, he decided to go ahead and send Angelo a text. But Angelo, you know, he's not really worried or pressed about how often in Naomi and Wade speaks speak because he feels confident in his relationship with Naomi but I do think that he's gonna sit here and he might make like a little bit of a joke with Naomi you know something like um let's see what should we use maybe like an inside joke or <laughs> We're not going to joke about old times. That might be a sensitive topic, but we're going to make an inside joke. I see this as him saying like, hey, do I have to worry about Wade? You know, you guys look rather close at the wedding. He's like, I'm just kidding. And Naomi's like, really, Wade? No, you do not have to worry about him. And she's like, you saw him. She's like, he, he's doing all right. And, you know, he seems a lot better. And Angelo agrees. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm just happy that you guys are able to be cordial because where you guys were before this, it was just, it was rough on everybody. But Angelo was like, so what happened? Well, I was gone with you and Alicia. I saw you guys, you know, went to the museum and the picnic. And then when I came home, there's a nice painting on the wall. She's like, he's like, did Alicia do that? And she just says, yeah, Alicia's so talented. I can't believe that she was able to paint me so perfectly. She's like, it looks just like a photograph. She, I cannot believe that she is that talented, Angelo. Like, we really need to help her do some stuff with that, you know, do something with it at least. And Angela says, how about we wake up early and make breakfast for her before she goes to school? And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I can make my famous French toast. And he goes, really? <laughs> the French toast? He's like, yeah, go ahead. Um, but the two of them are just joking. And since it is already, do you like gossip? <laughs> 
I mean, what's the tea? You know how sometimes your significant other will come home and they'll fill you in on all the juicy gossip. So I'm going to say yes, <laughs> just because he loves listening to Naomi talk about, you know, her day. But with it nearing five o'clock, I think that Naomi is going to tease Angela a little bit. She's like, you, you old head. She's like, you're so sleepy. He's like, you're sleepy too. How about we just, we go ahead and get in the bed and we can cuddle for the rest of the night. And Naomi's like, I'd like that. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Tell him more. Yeah. I'm staring in the mirror at the only one I trust. Be down on my luck, so when you see me now, I'm up. I'm fresh up out that mud. I'm a diamond in the rough, so when you see me shining now, no, it's anything but look. I'm looking in the mirror at the only one I f with. I've been held me down, so when you see me now, I'm up. I'm fresh up out that mud, I'm a diamond in the rough, so when you see me shining yeah. now, I know it's anything but look. It's anything but Diamond in the rough, yeah, yeah, we had it tough, yeah, yeah, we had the pressure and the pressure done its stuff. oh, I'm not flexing when I'm brushing off the dust, no, all this pain and the tears made my shoulders bust, in this life, gotta do what you must, build your value up, gotta earn trust, avoid fuss, maybe you don't know the facts, you don't know enough, you can judge me all you want, cause every day I send love, every day I do me, makes me wanna see you, makes me wanna see more, makes me wanna see through, maybe we become one, maybe this is the thing, there's an energy of flavor, to the things that you bring to the table any way you're able real work times it's a gold when you're stable now life feels sweet Alrighty guys, as you can see, we are here at the gym with Wade. I wanted to do a little machinima portion there. That way we could kind of change the speed because we were going from a romantic setting to a kind of workout health fitness setting. And so I figured giving you guys a little machinima would have been fun. But Wade just finished up here at the gym. I was gonna have him do some cardio, but we really are on a time crunch. He came out here probably about 7 a.m. and it's now 10. And so he's been here for quite some time, but he is going to send a quick text because he's actually going on a meetup sort of thing with Angelo's colleague and this is her right here this is Courtney Stone so he's gonna text her and say hey I just finished up at the gym I'm gonna go home and get ready and then we can meet where did you say you wanted to meet again you know he's just getting all his ducks in a row and everything but yeah Angelo he kind of organized something for Wade and I, I briefly talked about it in the scene where Angelo and Naomi were at home and just kind of cuddling on the bed and things like that but basically Angelo he used to do work for this woman here Courtney and you know he had to help her because he is a photographer so he does a lot of products um product photos and things like that she is a health instructor and so i think she was needing headshots and new updated pictures for her resume and just for her website and so that's kind of where angelo came in but um i'm gonna have oh <laughs> is Knox trying to talk to wade oh i love that i love Knox. <laughs> But yeah, he he knows her. They're not really friends. I think I said they were friends, but I do want to explain that Angelo and Courtney are not like friends on talking terms, you know, that much. He'll check in with her when she needs like something business related and things like that. But he only knows her surface level wise, but he knew that she was recently divorced and he was like, you know, I know the perfect person for Wade to go to the wedding with it doesn't have to be anything romantic it can just be you know just a an accompany a date or whatever but let me go ahead and open up Courtney's profile because I want to show you guys a few things about her so Wade did see a picture of her and he thinks that she's very attractive which is nice um again do not look too far into this guys he's not classifying this as a date neither is she they are just simply going to meet up with each other so they're not awkward when they go to the wedding together I don't know if you guys have ever done this but it's really common for you know if you're going by yourself like maybe a friend or someone will suggest somebody so you don't have to come by yourself so this is kind of that situation um but he's really excited to get to know her a little bit more because as you guys can see he doesn't know anything except for the fact that you know she's a high school graduate and he perceives her as attractive so they do have good compatibility though so far um but i guess she's probably getting ready or either on her way to the location so Wade actually just lives right down the street. Oh my gosh, not the bicycle indoors, <laughs> but he lives right down the street. And so he's going to just head home, freshen up really quickly, hop in the shower, and just pick something out to wear. So Wade just finished getting out of the bath. He's all clean, 
cleaned and freshened up and now he's just brushing his teeth and then we're gonna go into cast and pick out an outfit for him now i did forget that i have to turn over the laundry here so we are gonna get way to just throw his laundry in the washing machine i don't know if all of you guys saw the video but this is where wade is living now you guys know he had that big mansion but now he lives in these townhouses here in um newcrest and so they're pretty nice i'll leave a link down in the description to the creator and this build because i love this creator so so much but it's really nice on the inside and he doesn't pay that much it's definitely not as much as the house was let me pause the game so we don't lose any time but this is what it looks like from an aerial view Over here he has a walk-in closet and then downstairs this is what it looks like just like a small kitchen um eating space and then he has his uh his living room here which is really nice i love the color scheme in here it's a lot of warm colors and just like the blue couch i don't know it does something for me i love it and over here in the corner is usually where wade will stick his bikes I'm actually gonna go ahead and plop his bike down right here so that way he doesn't whip that out while he's out with Courtney. <laughs> but he is so excited about going out with her. You know, like I said, it's just something fun to do. He doesn't really have a lot of friends and you know, the friends that he did have, he doesn't associate with them anymore just because they don't fit each other's lifestyles. And when he went to therapy, he completely changed his life around. And that includes all of his friends who had a toxic influence on him. Um, so let's go ahead and head to cast and plan him an outfit for this meetup so it is rather warm weather outside and i don't know how um i don't know how courtney's gonna dress for this occasion but wade is just gonna wear something simple i was thinking about wearing this tucked in shirt but i don't know if this suits him all that well we could just throw on like a t-shirt and call it a day but i don't know maybe the tucked in shirt was a good move i will look around a little bit let's see you know what's wrong with a plain a plain t-shirt right <laughs> we'll do a gray plain t-shirt and then let me see if i can find him some shorts i have these jean shorts here that he could wear um but i also probably have like oh yeah here they are i was like i know i have some just regular kind of khaki shorts in here somewhere so he could wear these and i'm actually not opposed to the sneakers he has on currently but let me just look around and see if there's anything else that i might have for him to wear today he could wear his dad's shoes he really could you know what let's wear the shoes that he has on i was gonna change them but these are these are okay and i'm just gonna get him in um probably just some different socks for the occasion not those let's see do we have any shorter socks my favorite socks are the ones that are from the um what's it called the camping pack oh my gosh i'm blanking right now outdoor retreat <laughs> outdoor retreat has some really nice short socks i use those pretty often but um we'll just do these these are nice and then i think that he might just you know wear some glasses out uh just because it is a pretty sunny day so let's see do i have any glasses really i mean i do have these which are kind of like ray-bans but then i also have uh these here these are nice Okay, you know, I think I like it. I think this is the fit. <laughs> So Wade just arrived here at the garden and he has never been to a place like this. He is really curious as to where Courtney is, but guys, he doesn't even know what she looks like to like a full extent. He's only seen just her face, but he sees a woman over here who looks kind of like Courtney. And so he's just gonna come over here and approach her. He's really nervous because he sees that Courtney has this massive dog with her. Now Naomi and him had sugar, but you know, this, this dog is is kind of intimidating do you guys see this is a king corso <laughs> i have always wanted a king corso but they are very expensive dogs and um he doesn't know the name yet but this is henry henry is um courtney's dog um but i'm gonna have wade go ahead and um just say hello to her he's already introduced himself but um we're just gonna i don't know should we 
uh, talk about current weather. There we go. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, um, nice to meet you in person. She's like, hey, you, you kept me waiting long enough. <laughs> you know, she's like, I was out here thinking about catching some fish. He's like, catching fish. <laughs> he has never met a woman like this before. She seems like she is just way into just different things than the girls that he normally would be interested in. Um, but he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I moved and I'm still getting used to the area and stuff like that. She's like, oh, no, I'm just giving you a hard time. It's it's totally fine. So uh, do you want to walk around and check the place out and everything? Uh, he's like, yeah, of course. Uh, if you're if you want to, you know, he feels a little awkward. He doesn't know how to go about this this whole meetup thing. And I think also Henry being here is making him a little anxious. But he is going to ask her, you know, hey, what's up with the dog? Like. <laughs> and why'd you bring your dog and she's like oh my son told me there's like a bunch of weirdos out here he said you don't know this man you need to be careful and oh my gosh wade goes ahead and tries to introduce himself to the dog and oh wow she's like henry he he's just he looks intimidating but he is just the biggest goofball i promise <laughs> she's like he's not gonna hurt a fly i promise you he wouldn't but look at the kids over here playing oh my god naomi are you sending me a notification about the wedding rehearsal? Yeah, we'll just pretend that she's sending him something about, you know, wedding related. So, but guys, do you see the kids over here playing on the monkey bars? This is so cute. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the matter of hand here. I think that I'm going to get them to just walk around together. I will pop a picture up on the screen if you guys want to grab this lot for yourself. But this place is absolutely stunning. But they're just going to walk through it together and talk to one another so we're just gonna pretend they're having conversation because i wish that we could use the feature from growing together where you go on walks and you can talk at the same time that is so nice but we're just gonna have to pretend that they're having conversation as they're walking through here you know he mentions to her in passing as they are going through this this trail why didn't she want to grab a bite to eat or anything like that and she's like did i just tell you she's like i don't know you <laughs> She says, I figured we could come out here. I could bring my dog. I can't bring my dog to a restaurant. And so I figured I could get to know you here. And she's like, what if I like needed the cops or something like that? She's like, at least over here, I have a running chance. <laughs> and Wade has never been, you know, considered a, I don't know, an intimidating guy or anything like that. Like he's never had to have a conversation like this, but what does he like stories? I'm going to say yes. This is just a very interesting experience <laughs> but she's like i hope you know i really am just giving you a, a really hard time she's like i'm just teasing <laughs> she she just really likes to come out here this is one of her favorite spots to come on monday she and henry will go on walks here and so this is just a part of her routine she really would have went out to eat with him and stuff like that she does like going out on dinners and lunches and things but it's just a little low-key here it's quiet and it's private and it's just really nice scenery so i think that she just wanted to share that with wade or just anyone in general so they're just talking getting to know each other and so while they do that i do want to explain a little bit more about courtney to you all so i think i mentioned it i can't remember i've tried to get my brain together she's been divorced within the last two years and she has three children one of which is still at home and about to graduate from high school and then she also has two older children who are out and about and just taking care of themselves she works as a cyclist instructor at a gym near her house and i think i mentioned it to you all but she sells her own health products and things like that and so angelo was helping her with the pictures for her website and her portfolio but she really is about health and wellness and she genuinely is just a kind soul so um i think after having this conversation with her wade is you know gonna ask her again formally ask her if she's okay with attending the wedding with him and just making sure she is gonna be comfortable um so would you like to go uh and we could just go as friends and she's like oh yeah of course she's like i've never turned down a wedding she's like if there's gonna be food he's like yeah there's gonna be food she's like i love i love to eat so <laughs> she's really excited about that um but guys i do think that i am going to wrap up the episode here because i want to get some some opinions from you all on how you're feeling about miss courtney and also wade and i want to save all the wedding stuff for the next episode so stay tuned for that i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment down below don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat i love you guys and i will see you all next time bye everyone
hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know Any night, any day Let me take you a